guys! Today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial of Rosie Huntington Whitley, who is a stunning model um, and she is on the cover of Glamour magazine, which I have got right here. This is US Glamour magazine. And she's on the cover with One Direction and also inside here. I'm actually going to do the eyes first with a little trick with these little post-its that I'm going to put right underneath following the lower lash line upwards like that and you can also do this like with sticky tape but just make sure you stick it on the back of your hand so it's not so sticky that it will like pull your skin when you take it off so I'm going to do my eye makeup first so that the rest of the skin is like really clean and flawless and I'm just going to apply that all over my eyes and this is going to be a base for the rest of the eyeshadows. So this is an amazing base, it just kind of like neutralizes the color. So I just put that all over my eyes and next I am going to just fill in my eyebrows a little bit. So Rosie hasn't got like the most filled in like darkest eyebrows. I'm just filling mine in a little bit because they are terrible. Um, they just to make them a little bit more groomed looking. She hasn't really got particularly strong eyebrows in this picture, but oh, let's just come off, stick that back down. Okay, next I'm taking a colour from MAC called Woodwinked, all over the lid. So patting this all over the lid, like so. it does not want to stick to my eye um, because I think it's the eye cream so this is like a really beautiful gold bronze colour I'm just putting that all over and then her makeup goes like a lot darker in the corners so I'm taking this other colour from MAC called bronze and I'm gonna put this on with a little round brush just outer corners and then going up into like a C or V shape on the brow bone so you can just kind of feel it just concentrate on the outer corners like this See, just build up the colour, making sure like it's darker on the outer corner. So just blending it in like that. Now I'm going to take a clean brush, just kind of blend away the edges. Okay, and then it goes really, really dark just right by the outer corner. So I'm going to take a black. This is called Carbon from MAC. Just put it in the outer corner, not as far up as I did the bronze, just like concentrating right on the outer corner. So it's okay if any makeup falls down, these things really do not want to stick to my eye. Um, normally they would, I think it's because I put eye cream on, so. Keeping on so you intensify the colour at the outer corner. And then on the actual brow bone underneath the eyebrow, I'm going to put a colour called uh, from MAC. That's just there. And here. And I'm going to take these off because they do not want to stay on anyway. But you can see there's like a line like that and you can see what has fallen down as well. So I'm just going to wipe away everything that's fallen down, all the shadow that's fallen down. It makes just like a nice clean line. Don't worry if it doesn't look perfect right now. I'm going to blend it in. Just take that nice fluffy brush and blend it. I like do weird things and lift up my eyebrows and make a mess, but that's okay because we can wipe it off. And then I'm going to take a little bit of 
the bronze colour again and put it underneath my eye. Because Rosie's eyes are like really sort of smoky bronze. Just rub it in a little bit. You want it to look like sultry. So I am also going to take an eye pencil now called Teddy by MAC. As close to the lower lash line as possible, draw this on. Rosie also has black in the waterline of her eyelashes, so I'm just going to put this Dior, literally nothing left of this, Dior black, right inside. In the inner waterline. And then I'm going to take my Ico Skinny Mini Liquid Eye Liner in black, and just starting from the outer corner, working my way in. So I like to do from the outer corner to about halfway, and then from the inner corner to join it. So again, from the outer corner, and then from the inner corner, trying to get it actually sort of inside or as close as possible. Okay, so that's basically the eyeshadow done, and I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I like to hold this for like eight seconds, so not like Ross and friends, like Mrs. Zippley. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's probably gone eight now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm just gonna use my Maybelline at the Rocket Volume Express. This mascara is amazing. It really does make you look like you've got really full lashes, um, almost like fake looking lashes. If you don't like that, then you won't like this, but pretty. Great, I'm putting it on the lower lashes too. And now I move on to the skin. I'm going to be using my Giorgio Armani Maestro, um, mm, Maestro foundation. So I've wet my beauty blender and dropped some of the this foundation on top of it. And now I'm literally going to bounce it onto my skin. All over. So her, Rosie's skin looks um, flawless, but it's not too matte. It's got like a little bit of a glow to it. So this foundation is pretty matte. So I'm going to use like a glowy powder to make up for the mattness of this. This is a great foundation, but you need to be pretty much like flake free because otherwise it sticks to all your dead skin and your dry skin. It's not pretty. So, my forehead. And then I'm gonna go in with the concealer. This one is from Cosmetic Seller Card um, to put it around my nose. Places that need to be concealed here on the lips, under here, and corners of the lips like that. I'm just gonna use my finger to Blend it in like this. And I'm also going to put it under my eyes. A good thing, a good tip for putting concealer under your eyes is to lower your head and you can see the darkest part of your eye um, and put it just stroke it down like that. Put it down like that. Blend it outwards with your beauty blender. Okay, so that's done. And then I'm going to use the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in medium. So it doesn't like completely matte out your skin, this powder. It like gives you a little bit of a glow still, which is nice for this look because Rosie does have a glow, her skin isn't like completely matte. Okay, 
And next I'm going to take this Bobbi Brown stone washed pink. So if you see where I put it like this, along the cheekbone, then just blend it out with your other finger. Make sure you really blend it, you don't want to have any like weird brown blobs. That is the cream blusher. And then I'm going to take this MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. And I'm just really going to put this on to my cheekbones here. She's got a little bit of a, a glow going on, but it's not like massively over highlighted. So that's why this one is quite good. It's just pretty subtle actually. Okay, and now we can move on to the lipstick where I'm using Bobbi Brown lip colour in Pretty Pink. She's got like a nice, a nice pretty pink on, so the name is appropriate. And um, her lips look quite shiny, this is why it's good, but not in a gloss kind of way, so That is a pretty pink colour. Okay, so that is my Rosie Huntington Whitley makeup tutorial as on the cover of US Glamour magazine. Hope you liked it guys! Please also subscribe to my channel, um, give it a thumbs up, like it if you liked it and I'm going to put all of the makeup details that I used today down below um, and also link to my blog if you want to check it out.